Melanie Goldie. I attended ICC from 1987 through 1989. While at ICC, I was involved in the Science Club and um, also a member of Phi Theta Kappa. Um, studied quite a bit. I was in the pre-pharmacy program there and went on to transfer to Ole Miss. Um, from there, after graduation, I began working for Fred's Pharmacy uh, 23 years ago and I'm still here today. There were always activities um, to attend. and I enjoyed going to football games while I was there on campus. Um, of course, I spent a lot of time in the classroom. Some of my favorite teachers were Bill Lay, had him for zoology, um, Larry Armstrong for English comp, and uh, Mr. Long, Jim Long for physics. They were all good teachers and really um, inspired me. Well, at ICC, I enjoyed the um, smaller classroom setting and then it's a smaller student-teacher ratio and so if you ever needed help in any, anything that help was always available. The teachers, professors were very approachable there. Um, I think it provided me, uh, I know for, it was a very affordable education uh, for my parents. We had, um, I had two younger brothers that also attended ICC and so they had three children in college at the same time so that was um, very beneficial for my family. Um, also, also gave me such, such a great, great foundation. foundation. Um, I guess I'm getting teary thinking about it. But, but it gave me a great foundation and a jumping board to, um, to attend a, a university. I am Melanie Golding and I am ICC. Need money now? Get a choice pawn loan on things you already own, like guns, boats, campers, trailers, recreational vehicles, and just about everything else. Get a loan from Choice Pawn in Fulton and Tupelo. Get cash today. ChoicePawn.com. My burger goes best with mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Grass fed beef. No, corn fed. On the grill. Now, nah, flat top. Iceberg lettuce. Nah, arugula. Jalapeno. No way. I've got it, dude. Medium rare. Gotta be all done. Rio. Sesame seed. American cheese. Cheddar. Can I have a turkey burger? What? Turkey's are for Thanksgiving, man. I like my burger with the coat. I'll agree to that. Strictly with the coat. Only with the coat. Coke and a burger. Come on. Right. That's where you get the flavor. When I grow up, I'm gonna redefine pizza. One that will change the history of pizza forever. A pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni. This is my dream, and I can do it. Because my mom and dad said I can accomplish anything. And I will do great things in life. Sorry, kid, it's been done. But my dream- Introducing Little Caesar's Extra Most Bestest Pizza. A large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. You could say it's about the clubs. You could say it's about the ball. You could even say it's about the course or the weather. But what it really comes down to is consistency and hard work. Over and over and over again. At Renaissance, we understand consistency. We understand hard work. Most importantly, we understand you. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, out to the soccer pitch here this afternoon as this ICC Lady Indians versus the number 16 team in the country, the Holmes Lady Bulldogs, here in the final division game of the season. Of course, ICC will have one more uh, match. That'll be Friday for sophomore day. The Lady Indians will take on Southwest Tennessee, and the Indians will take on Andrew College. So that will be Friday at 1 and 3 o'clock. If you can't make it out to the matches, they'll be available here on letsgoicctv.com. We do want to uh, say a special hello to those that are watching in support of the Bull Lady Bulldogs and the Bulldogs this afternoon. I know Steve Diffie back there, the SID, and it just Mr. Do-It-All on at Holmes is uh, tuning in as always. So we do appreciate everyone tuning in there in support of both your teams. We're just moments away from that first American National Bank opening kickoff. It'll be Holmes in maroon, trimmed in white. Looks like black shorts. ICC will be in the blue tops, white shorts, and blue socks. And ICC with it. Holmes takes it back now. As we said, the new soccer rankings came out just before the start of this match. And Holmes is now the number 16 team in the country. So ICC's got their hands full this afternoon. Now Holmes, they did win the North in the women's division. So they will host the state tournament that will be next weekend down at 
Freedom Ridge Park in Ridgeland. ICC, they'll host Gulf Coast next Tuesday in the opening round. The winner of that match will advance to the semifinals of the MACJC playoffs. We'll give you our Coca-Cola starting lineups here in a moment as this is going to be a free kick downfield. Holmes controls it back across the middle, and here come the Lady Bulldogs. Clock uh, is not running on the scoreboard, so we'll just keep you updated on the time as we go. It's 43-52 to left until halftime. ICC with it now, trying to get in the open field. Swings it out wide. That's going to be Mallory Scott. Had it poked away that time by the Bulldogs. And Holmes gets it back. Let's go ahead and give you your Coca-Cola starting lineups here this afternoon. And let's start with the visiting Lady Bulldogs of Holmes. Number one, Bailey O'Connor. She's a freshman goalkeeper out of Oxford. She went to Oxford High School. Number three, Pepper Ann Filbert. She's a freshman midfielder out of Brandon. She went to Brandon High School. Number four, Frances Green. She's a sophomore defender out of Brandon. She went to Northwest Rankin. Number five, Kendall Walsh. She is a sophomore forward out of Brandon. She went to East Rankin. You've got number 10, Brooke Burrell, a sophomore midfielder out of Madison. She went to Madison Central. Number 14, Brooklyn Kramer. She's a freshman defender out of Pensacola, Florida. She went to Pensacola Catholic. Number 18 is Irene Mondragon. She's a sophomore midfielder. She's out of Jackson. She went to Northwest Rankin. Number 20, Madison DeSalte. She's a sophomore forward. She's out of Madison. She, too, went to Madison Central. You've got Taylor Gano. She is a freshman forward out of Jackson. She went to Central Hines Academy. Number 22, Britton Wellson, a sophomore defender. She's out of Ridgeland, went to Ridgeland High School. And number 29 is Sarah Chastain, a freshman defender out of Madison. She went to Madison Central. That's your Coca-Cola starting lineups there for the Lady Bulldogs. Nice, quick decision that time, and the ball is out of bounds. It'll go to a corner kick here for Holmes. Let's real quick give you your starters after this corner opportunity here for Holmes for your homestanding Lady Indians. Holmes comes into today's match with 11-0-1 record, 9-0-1 in the north. That shot is scooped up and saved that time by Mary Kate Grayson. She is a freshman keeper. She's out of Tupelo, went to Tupelo High School. Alex Stevens wearing number two. She's a freshman defender. She's from Aberdeen, went to Amory High School. Number three, Mallory Scott, a sophomore midfielder from South Tillo. She went to South Tillo High School. Now here come the Lady Indians, trying to push it on the other end. Trying to force it in that time was Deanna Christie. Puts it back across the middle, cleared out nicely. Now here comes ICC on the attack ahead. They go to Christie. Christie tries to go top shelf, no. Good opportunity that time and just could not quite get the finish. Great stop that time by the keeper. And that's going to be O'Connor with the save. I want to continue with your Coca-Cola starting lineups here in a moment. And basically we'll just start them over for ICC. Lady Indians on the attack now. Shifts it across the middle. There's Bethancourt. Bethancourt sticks one just too high over the back of the net. That one, a good-looking opportunity there for the Lady Indians. Just a little too strong off the foot of Bethancourt. So let's give you your starting lineup for ICC. Number two is Alex Stevens, a freshman defender out of Amory High School. Number three, Mallory Scott, a sophomore midfielder. She's out of Saltillo High School. Number five, Maya Richardson, a sophomore defender out of New Hope. Number six, Emma Godden. She is a freshman midfielder out of Surrey, England. She, her high school is the Cleveland District State School. You've got number nine, Morgan Dennis, a sophomore midfielder out of South Tillo. Then you've got number 12, Gracie Bertelson. She is a freshman midfielder out of Natchez. She went to Natchez Cathedral High School. You've got number 14, Addison Meadows, a midfielder from Oxford. She went to Oxford High School. Number 16, Caroline Jaggers, a sophomore midfielder out of South Tillo. Went to South Tillo High School. Number 17, Deanna, Deanna Christie, a freshman forward. She's out of Liverpool, England. Went to Mag Maghull High School. As this is going to be an opportunity broken up that time by ICC. And you had number 18, Cynthia Bethancourt. She's a freshman midfielder out of New Albany. She went to New Albany High School. And as we already mentioned, our keeper, as you just see there, Mary Kate Grayson. She's a freshman keeper out of Tupelo. She went to Tupelo High School. So those are your Coca-Cola starting lineups this afternoon for both squads. For those that are watching here on Let'sGoICCTV.com, 
Holmes moving left to right on your screen there in the maroon and white tops, black shorts, white trim. ICC in the blue tops, white shorts, white trim. And we're scoreless with 39 minutes left here in the first half. Well, as we said, this match does not really have any ramifications on how these two teams will finish in the North Division. Those spots have been determined. ICC will be the number two seed out of the North. Holmes will be the number one seed and receive a bye into the state tournament that they will be hosting. Sends it ahead. Opportunity here and a good, quick decision there by Grayson to come up and make the play and get the stop. It would have been a golden opportunity there for Holmes to possibly break open this nil-nil contest. 50-50 ball down the field. And looks like it's going to be controlled by ICC. Trying to go over the top with it, but just a little too far and off the side of the foot. Out of bounds it goes. And it's going to roll into the ditch across the way. And with the rains recently, this probably got a little bit of water out there. So it's going to be an adventure for any fan or player that goes down there to fish out the ball. And there's some rocks down there, so you got to kind of be careful. As they're going to call for another ball coming in from the side. 38 minutes to play here in the first period of play. Adam Gore, Raphael Henry. You've got Lee Adams on the sideline. He is updating Twitter, taking photos. You can order those photos online at iccimages.com. You can get the digital download for as cheap as a dollar. A new uh, feature there on iccimages.com as that ball out of bounds on the toss in, and ICC will get it back. So Lady Indians and the Lady Bulldogs tied at zero here in the early going of this one. Christie feeds it back to Scott. Scott just could not quite handle that pass that was behind her a little bit. And Holmes is just going to clear it out of bounds. And it will stay ICC ball. Remind you that the guys actually will be coming up next here on Let's Go ICCTV.com. We do invite you to stay tuned for that. Now there is a lot on the line in that match. A win today by ICC would put them in a finish as co-champions of the North Division. Of course, there's some tiebreaker rules, and uh, depending on what some of the other teams do, ICC could finish second or third heading into the playoffs due to the tiebreaker, but a co-division championship for the Indians on the line with the win this afternoon. So this will be a goal kick coming up here for Holmes. And up the pitch they go with it. Holmes will pop it up and try to just quickly move it down the pitch. Tries to cross it over the middle. Nicely broken up that time by Godden. Godden tries to get it, but Holmes takes it back. Now sends it ahead out on the wing. Stevens out there, breaks it up nicely, then controls it and sends it ahead. But just too far that time as it was intended for Gracie Burleson. And it goes out of bounds back to Holmes. Good crowd out this afternoon. A beautiful day for soccer. Not too hot, not too cold. Kind of a pleasant afternoon here in Fulton. ICC takes it away now, looking for the long cross over the top. And nothing there that time as the keepers just want to come up and clear that one out. Not a bad idea, though, by ICC. Trying to just flip the field position. Now this is going to be number 14, Addison Meadows with it. Meadows sends it across. Just a step too far for Deanna Christie to get to. Good idea. The Indians have done well or played well here. In the first half, getting some opportunities, just could not quite execute on some of those there. 50-50 ball being pinballed around near midfield. Gotten battling for it. Now Holmes will take it over, trying to send it ahead. He's got one man to beat. Opportunity coming up here for Holmes. Sends it, and it's off the glove and in. Just could not quite get her footing underneath her that time, as that is going to be a goal for number 20. As that is Madison DeSalte. Getting the goal in this one nothing now in favor of Holmes with 35.07 to play here. And I do apologize to any of the Holmes players or their family if I'm pronouncing names wrong. It's ICC now going on the attack, trying to get back here. Sends it across the middle to Christie. Christie, oh, put a nice foot on it. But just happened to be in the right place at the right time was the Holmes defender to deflect that one away. Meadows now comes back and gets it. Trying to set it up, and that one 
Going to be sent across the middle, broken up, and ICC maintains possession. Morgan Dennis squeezes it ahead. She is hit and knocked to the turf, and Morgan landed roughly that time and is slow to get up. She appears to be okay. Maybe just knock the wind out of her a little bit. So now this is going to be a free kick coming up here for ICC. And boy, this could be a golden opportunity here for the Lady Indians to tie this one up. So this appears to be Christy and Mallory Scott. The options on taking this one. The referee getting the line or the wall set up there. Mallory is going to step into this one, sends it in. It's just too high and too long. That's a little close that time. And a tough angle to take. And so a missed opportunity there for ICC and Holmes dodges a bullet. They lead 1-0, 33-41 to go here until halftime. We do invite you to stay tuned at halftime. We'll have a performance from the ICC All-American Band. As Holmes with it now. Trying to work it to midfield. 33-24 to go until halftime. That's part of the Little Caesars halftime report here from Fulton. Now here come the Bulldogs. That one off the post and deflects out of bounds. As that was a good shot that time, just a break for the Indians that it just went off the post and out of bounds. 1-0 is your score. 33-03 to go here until halftime. We talked about it. Holmes comes in with a record of 11-0-1, 9-0-1 in the north. They're number 16 in the country. ICC, they have a record of 9-6, 5-2 in the north. They've tied the record for most wins in a season at 9, trying to see if they can break that record here this afternoon. 50-50 ball sent down, and it's going to bounce through, and Bethancourt going to try to get to it, but just couldn't get to it quick enough as Holmes takes it away. Ball is going to be sent out of bounds. It will stay with the Lady Bulldogs. As we said, we will have a break at the conclusion of this game and then come back with the men's action here on letsgoicctv.com. We do thank those that are tuning in here. I invite you to follow us on Twitter at Let's Go ICC. Also, Instagram, Let's Go ICC. Snapchat, guess what? It's Let's Go ICC as well. And then you can visit letsgoicc.com for more information on all 10 intercollegiate athletic programs. We've got homecoming coming up soon. That's what's coming up at ICC, being brought to you by your local food giant. You can visit letsgoicc.com to find the full schedule of events. It's going to be a full day, a fun day for homecoming 2017. We'll be facing homes in the football game that starts at 2.30 that afternoon, but the day will kick off bright and early at 9 o'clock that morning with alumni tennis matches. We'll have our alumnus of the year, our athletic hall of fame, inductees, all that going on in the Davis Event Center lawn here in Fulton. Once again, visit letsgoicc.com for more information on, 2000, on the 2017 homecoming festivities here in Fulton. Of course, ICC will be on the road with football on Saturday. You can watch that game here on letsgoicctv.com. Or you can listen to it on FM 95 Radio, ICC and Mississippi Delta. The Indians trying to stay in the chase for the playoffs with a win. And a win, or I guess you can say two wins in a row, could put the Indians in a three-way tie for first place in the north. And it all depends on some tiebreaker rules then. As ICC defeated Northwest, and Northwest defeated East Mississippi in impressive fashion last week. And so the ball out of bounds. It will stay with Holmes, tossing it in. Emma Godden quickly gets in front of that one. Good read that time by Emma to step in front of it. And then the Holmes player, her foot failed her that time as she was trying to take the ball away and looked like me trying to walk down the hall sometimes. She just simply fell on her own merit. Morgan Dennis now with it. Trying to work it across the pitch. Wisely sets it back, and now Indians are going to send it ahead. Christie sends it back out wide to Bethancourt. Bethancourt up ahead. Good feed. Just a great defensive play that time by the Lady Bulldogs to take it away. Now here comes Holmes on the attack. Trying to send it ahead. Nobody there. Maya Richardson trying to run it down. 
and is going to be out of bounds, and that's going to be a corner opportunity here. Nice job by number five, Walsh of Holmes, to hustle up and make that a much more difficult situation for the Lady Indians, and it will result in a corner opportunity coming up here for the Lady Bulldogs. There's 29 minutes and 26 seconds to play until halftime. We do invite you to stay tuned for the Little Caesars halftime report. If you are watching, let us know. Hit us up on Twitter, at Let's Go ICC on Twitter. Corner piece on its way, cleared out by Morgan Dennis. Ball is still alive and is going to be out of bounds to ICC. So the Indians trying to set up their goal kick here. Holmes putting a lot of pressure on Grayson and the decision she'll make here. And she's just going to simply send that one out wide to Alex Stevens. Stevens tries to send it across. Dangerous ball here. Holmes gets it, puts a foot on it. And that one just a little high that time and just a little bit of lack of focus or detail to attention that time by the Lady Indians nearly resulted in a very easy goal for the Lady Bulldogs. So ICC dodges a major bullet there. 1-0 is your score. Holmes, the number 16 team in the country with the lead. Going to send it out wide. It's going to be, I believe, Burleson with it. Then Holmes takes it away. Trying to find something. Emma Godden breaks that one up and cleared out that time by Morgan Dennis. Now here come the Bulldogs. Sends it across. Broken and cleared out that time by Jaggers. Bethancourt controls. Nice little cross that time by Bethancourt to keep the possession with herself, but being hawked defensively, and the ball is going to go out of bounds, and it will stay with ICC. 27-30 to play here until halftime. ICC trailing one to nothing. And they toss it in. Bethancourt trying to put a header on it that time and just off the back of her head and out of bounds, and Holmes will get it back. Toss in, and Richardson steps in front of it, but pops off her foot, and Holmes takes it back. There's Mallory Scott stepping in front of that one, but then Holmes gets it back. Anything you can do, I can do better in that transition there. This time they try to send it ahead. Jaggers is there, clears it out, looking up the pitch. That's going to be Mallory Scott with it now. Scott clears it to the center, trying to get some more passing lane opportunities. Squeezes it ahead to Morgan Dennis, but a little bit too far behind her. And Holmes takes it away. Alex Stevens is hammered on the far sideline. She pops up quickly, and a foul will be whistled on Holmes. Well, as we said, a good crowd out this afternoon here in Fulton. The match is starting an hour early than we're accustomed to due to the sun starting to set a little bit sooner. You can hear the breeze blowing this afternoon. Kind of chilly. Comfortable to some, cold to others. And the ball now is free, and there's Meadows. Meadows, great hustled. Now trying to push it down the pitch. Looking for someone to go with her, and oh, that hurt. As that was just number nine sacrificing her body that time for the Bulldogs. And now the ball is loose. There's a scramble for it. Now Mallory Scott gets it. Scott tries to go left foot, and it is deflected out of bounds. And it will stay with ICC. 250, or, yeah, 25 minutes and 44 seconds left here until halftime. Adam Gore, Raphael Henry, Lee Adams. I see Miss Maggie Caldwell on the sideline as well, taking photos for ICCimages.com this afternoon. You can see highlights from this match and other matches. Beautiful back door pass was there. Just could not quite get a strong enough foot on it that time. And looks like Gracie Burleson a little shaken up on the play. Good delivery just could not get it to go home one nothing Holmes with the lead ICC's had some opportunities just could not cash in on them so far here in the first half there's 25 minutes to play until halftime ball is loose at midfield Maya Richardson going back to find it tries to send it ahead that was going to go towards Gracie Burleson and as we said Burleson kind of Looked like she may have tweaked her ankle a little bit on that last play where she tried to 
have that jump kick on the back side of the goal. She did wave to possibly try to see if she can get a substitution in this match. And there's Meadows with the takeaway. But Holmes just, once again, in the right spot at the right time, able to get that one back as soon as the Indians take it away. Up the pitch they go with it now. Lady Bulldogs trying to drive. Emma Godden providing a pretty solid defense. Now here comes a soft kick to the outside and scooped up, shot not on goal. But a good job by Mary Kate Grayson to come up and get that one. Mary's going to send it down the pitch, and Holmes will win the 50-50 ball. Now they're going to quickly try to send it back. Jaggers breaks it up. Pretty much just a game of catch between number 18 and Jaggers. That was a push in the back there. Good job that time by Deanna, Deanna Christie to stay with it. And ouch. That is just going to be a lucky goal that time as that was Walsh who was running in to challenge and pretty much Mary Kate Grayson tried to clear that one out and Walsh took that one off the chest and it hit hard enough that it deflected quickly and back into the goal and it's 2-0 now in favor of Holmes so ICC will get it back need to find an answer here they trail the number 16 team in the country 2-0 Ball is loose, and there is going to be a foul on Morgan Dennis that time. Dennis just trying to get aggressive, go in there and get after the loose ball. Probably a good call that time by the referee not to put a card in that situation as both players got up and went their opposite direction. Nothing malicious, just a hustle foul, I guess you can say. And now here come the Bulldogs. Trying to cross over, nicely defended that time by Alex Stevens. Stevens making her work for it, earned the possession, and that's going to go out of bounds. It'll be a corner opportunity coming up here for the Lady Bulldogs. There's 23.07 to play until halftime. We do invite you to stay tuned for the Little Caesars halftime report. We'll give you some score updates as well as hear from the ICC All-American Band, all part of the halftime report being brought to you by Little Caesars. We do remind you, next time you're coming to Fulton looking for something quick, and easy, ready to go for you. Stop by Little Caesars there on South Adams Street. A single topping pizza, $1, or excuse me, $5. Just come in, get it to go, and you'll be money. That's what I do for supper quite often, especially on these long days here in the office and on the road. As that ball goes out of bounds, it will stay with the Bulldogs. As that time, they try to cross just a little too far. And it's going to roll towards the side, and it's going to be out of bounds on ICC. At that time, Bertelson just could not quite get to it quick enough. Scrum for the ball. Holmes wins it. Fires from distance in an easy save that time. For Mary Kate Grayson, that is her third save. Unofficially on the afternoon. A pair of saves for O'Connor for Holmes. Lady Indians try to push the issue a little bit that time. Holmes clears it out easily. Now back near midfield. Holmes with control. Works it up. Broken up that time by Godden. And it's going to be Bethancourt with it now. Sends it back to Stevens. Stevens sends it over to Jaggers. Jaggers sizing up. See what the defensive giver now sends it ahead that's Morgan Dennis with it now Dennis tries to get past the defender just a step off from being able to get caught back up with that one really nobody coming out to help out Morgan that time 2-0 is your score 21 minutes and five seconds to play until halftime Holmes with the lead and it's a scramble for it players go to the turf and they're going to call a foul I believe this is going to be a foul on Holmes so it came in and kind of tackled Jaggers from behind. So Jaggers getting set for this kick. Tries to send it over to Meadows. Instead, it's Bethancourt coming up to make the play on it. Bethancourt pokes it ahead. And Holmes is just going to clear that one back. And just once again, they clear it just to where their teammate is. And now you can see ICC with it. This is Meadows. Meadows quickly up the pitch. 
Sees a double team, but slips her right through it. And that one's going to be cleared out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Bulldogs. Substitution into the match here for ICC. This is going to be number four, Ferris Bradley. She'll be checking in for number 12. That's going to be Gracie Burleson. Talk about Ferris Bradley. We want to say congratulations to both Ferris, who was elected as the homecoming queen. She'll be participating in homecoming in two weeks. And also to Hannah Covington, who will be on the freshman court representing the Lady Indians soccer team. As that one... Just fire from distance, nothing there. Gotten with it now, is gonna send it back out wide to Richardson. Richardson's gonna to try to chase this one down before it goes out of bounds. Gets to it just about a step or two before it goes out of bounds. A little give and go action there. Now here comes Maya Richardson. Richardson fires from distance and is scooped up easily that time by the Lady Bulldogs. 9.15, or excuse me, 19.15 to play here. In the first half, Holmes with a two nil lead. ICC with it now, working around the perimeter. Holmes takes it away. ICC gets it back. Morgan Dennis steps in front of that pass. Now tries to send it ahead to Ferris Bradley. It's going to be a foot race and just a bit too far as Holmes will just trot down and catch this one before it goes into the corner. Bradley trying to apply some pressure. Now Deanna Christie comes up and takes it away. Oh, nice fancy footwork that time by Deanna. Christie tries to squeeze it across the middle. Nothing there. Now Dennis is going to shoot it. And blocked, and now it's deflected out of bounds, and it should result in a corner kick here for ICC. Great job defensively that time by Deanna Christie to come up and help. Nope, Fancy footwork and was able to get it across and result in a corner kick coming up, and I believe this is going to be Mallory Scott. Hey, Mallory Scott to send in please, this corner. So we'll see what the Lady Indians set up in this situation. The send is there. It's high, but the keeper goes up and makes a smart, quick play as ICC had players around the ball, but she does have a height advantage. Went up, got big, and reeled that one in. So now here comes Holmes in transition. Looking to fire left-footed. Great job by Caroline Jaggers to take that one away. Good, clean tackle that time as she went for the ball and took away the left-footed attempt by the Bulldogs. ICC trying to just clear it back to allow the defense to reset itself. Holmes sending it back up the pitch in a hurry. Alex Stevenson sends it out of bounds and it will stay with the Bulldogs. Substitution coming into the match here. Multiple substitutions for each team. We'll try to make sure we get the names and numbers before we get everybody. And I believe we've got everybody for ICC. It's Francesca Yayeos checking in, along with Allie Barnett. Yayeos wearing number seven, and Barnett wearing number 10. Then for Holmes, you've got Filbert, Watkins, Stewart, and Turner all checking into the contest for Holmes. Those substitutions being brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Visit renaissancebank.com for more information. Hard kick deflected away that time by Ali Barnett. And now ICC sends it ahead. Barnett trying to get to it, but broken up nicely that time by the Lady Bulldogs. So 2-0, the number 16 team in the country with the lead here over ICC. Remind you, the guys game will be coming up at the conclusion of this one. And now here comes Morgan Dennis. Dennis sends it ahead. Iganos has got an opportunity here, but a smart play. Let's give credit where credit's due. That was number 29, Sarah Chastain. Couldn't get to the ball, but took away the angle for Fran to be able to get to it. And by her being able to take away that angle and Fran couldn't get to it, allowed the keeper to easily come up. If she doesn't step in that path, Francesca has a easy shot opportunity and with the keeper out of position, a chance to score there. Foul on the Indians. So it'll be Holmes' ball at midfield. There's 15.30 to play here until halftime. And there's Morgan Ennis coming up, trying to make a play on the ball. Holmes lost it momentarily. Then Allie Barnett comes back and clears it back. But nobody there for the Indians, and Holmes gets it back. Tries to go wide with it. Cynthia Bethencourt steps in front of it, drops it off at midfield now. 
Up the pitch they go. This is Bradley with it, sending it ahead. Just a little miscommunication on who was coming up to get that one that time, and Holmes will let it roll back. The keeper will clear it out. Out of bounds, and there will be a toss in here for ICC. 2 0 is your score. Lady India is trying to fight their way back into this one. They've had some opportunities, just have not been able to cash in on them here in the first half. Holmes sends this one ahead. Maya Richardson steps in front of it, battling for it down the sideline and loses control of it as it goes out of bounds. And it'll be Holmes' ball. Holmes will toss it in. Trying to send it right back to the person serving it in that time. Saves it before it goes out of bounds. Ferris Bradley breaks that one up nicely. Scramble for it. And Holmes will maintain possession. Left foot inside. Cross, not there. And they're going to call offsides. And on the Bulldogs. And so it'll be a free kick coming up here for ICC. ICC getting set to come in with a couple of more subs here at the next opportunity. Looks like it's Savannah Courtright and Brooke Younger getting set to come in. Ball back to midfield. Holmes taking advantage of it. Now swings it out wide on the wing. Oh, break there for ICC as Holmes had the easy angle towards the goal. The pass or the touch was just behind the player streaking down the pitch. Now they go for the cross. Nothing there. Richardson is hammered from behind as both players just walk away from each other. Incidental contact is going to go out of bounds, and it should be a corner opportunity coming up here for Holmes. As that was a pretty hard contact between players that time, and yes, it will be a corner opportunity coming up here for the Lady Bulldogs. 13.03 to play here in the first half. 2 nil is the lead in favor of the Lady Bulldogs. This is Walsh getting set to send this one in. And that's going to be a foul pushing the back, and yes it is, here on Holmes. So a nice feed that time, but nicely defended by ICC. As Maya Richardson just got in there and got big that time. Maya not big of stature, but played extremely big. Got the push in the back and the foul called on Holmes. Now Holmes trying to get it back, and they do so. And they're going to shoot it, and a nice save that time. Beautifully done by Mary Kate Grayson. I'll tell you what, folks. Keepers don't get enough credit on those type plays there because not only does she focus on the ball, but one thing she's got to keep in mind is the angle that she dove at. She's right there next to that post. And I want to tell you what, I've got Haley McGill sitting up here next to me in the ICC Foundation broadcast booth. They're a lot braver than I am in those type situations. So Holmes with it now. Resets it at midfield. Going to send it back and try to reset one more time. Sends it up. Stevenson, or excuse me, Stevens clears that one out. Holmes, though, is able to get it back. Sends it ahead. Opportunity up here for Holmes. Good job that time by Caroline Jaggers to force him out further. And once again, a great defensive effort by Caroline. Then Emma Godden comes up and clears it out. Good job defensively that time by the Lady Indians. Bad touch that time. Now a shot from distance. And it's going to be an easy save. The fifth unofficially of the game for Mary Kate Grayson. Now ICC trying to get it up midfield. And once again, just a poor touch by ICC. And Holmes takes it away, but there's Meadows to poke that one away. Barnett tries to send it ahead. Broken up by Holmes, and Barnett gets it back. And just a game of anything you could do, I could do better that time as both teams kind of just kept passing it back and forth to each other. Good extra effort and substitutions come into the match here. This is going to be number 16 coming in. That's Goza checking in for Holmes. And then it's going to be number 24. That's going to be Savannah Courtright along with number 13, Brooke Younger, who will be checking into the contest here for ICC. Those substitutions being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union. They meet Monday nights at 7.07. And they also meet Wednesdays at lunch. So tomorrow at lunch, if you're 
an ICC student or an ICC employee, Brother Chris Burroughs in the ICC Baptist Student Union, invites you to lunch. It only costs $2. All they ask is you bring a friend and, hey, why not treat your friend to lunch? $2 for lunch there. That's the ICC Baptist Student Union. Breeze picking up a little bit. Chilly breeze this afternoon. Probably feels good on the pitch right now, though, since they're all in the sun. But I think if you ask a, any of the soccer players, considering the time of year they play now versus when they play in high school, they would take this type of weather all the time. Sends it ahead and another save by Mary Kate Grayson. Of course, the high school season is in the dead of winter. So it's either you freeze or you burn up during two days in summer. And here comes ICC trying to send it down the pitch. Nice stop that time by Allie Barnett. Barnett trying to send it across the middle. And once again, man, you just cannot say enough for Sarah Chastain and her play this afternoon. And she has just done her job of getting in there and breaking up opportunities for ICC. Also in that last substitution, it was Audrey Wilson checking into the match for ICC. You see her there wearing number 11. 8.45 and counting here. ICC trailing 2-0 to the number 16 team in the country. As we said, ICC has had their opportunities, just could not cash in on them. And a lucky break on a bounce gave Holmes this 2-0 lead. We'll recap the scoring as part of the Little Caesars halftime show as this one out of bounds and we'll go back to Holmes. So Holmes getting set to toss this one in. And it's broken up and taken away that time by Fran. And up the pitch they go. Really nobody there for ICC. More so trying to just clear it out, see if they can reverse the field position in this opportunity. Ball is out of bounds. And one referee says Holmes. The other one says ICC. And they give it to the assistant judge or assistant ref on the sideline and now here comes Morgan Dennis. Dennis trying to charge in. Had that one poked away and then Holmes battles it back out and clears it out in a hurry. Audrey Wilson comes up and challenges but Holmes was able to keep it. Lady Bulldogs now cross midfield. Up the pitch they go in a hurry here. And then Younger comes in and takes it away trying to reverse pitch but Holmes was there to step in front of it. Now they clear it back. That's going to be Jagger sending it out wide and out of bounds just to simply allow the defense to kind of catch themselves. 7.04 to play here until halftime. ICC trailing Holmes 2-0. So Holmes with it, looking to go to work. That one's going to be sent out of bounds. It is a tribute loan to ICC, and I believe it does. And so this will be Alex Stevens set to toss this one in for ICC. Surveying the defense, see what they're going to give her. Holmes really not giving them anything easy here. Stevens tosses it down the pitch. And Holmes will clear it back to midfield. Scramble for it, and Barnett just tossed to the turf. No foul call. You hear a few of the ICC players and fans here below us kind of echoing their feelings on that one, and Jackers is just going to clear that one out of bounds. Looked like Caroline that time might have accidentally went knee to knee with one of the Holmes players as she trying to walk it off there on the side. 5.43 and counting. Until halftime, 2 0 Holmes with the lead. And that's going to be a foul on ICC. Just trying to get a little aggressive and a little too aggressive that time. And that's going to be a free kick in this opportunity coming up here. So ICC, going to, or excuse me, Holmes is going to treat this like a corner opportunity here 
as this will be number 14, Kramer, set to send this one. And just a little too long. Oh, a Holmes player, though, nearly got a foot on the backside, and there's going to be another save. Got that as the seventh unofficial save in the contest for Mary-Kate Grayson. Of course, those unofficial stats being brought to you by Sonic here in Fulton. Got a special going on right now, cheeseburger, onion rings, $2.99. While that special runs there in Fulton, they're also for any ICC students that are looking, or really anybody that's looking for a job, they're hiring out to Sonic here in Fulton. Just stop by the restaurant and pick up an application. All shifts, part-time, full-time employees. That's where they're taking their applications for, and a great save yet again by Caroline Jaggers. Can't say enough about the play for Caroline so far here in the first half. As that ball out of bounds results in a corner opportunity coming up yet again here for the Lady Bulldogs. So this will be a corner kick coming up here. And it's sent ahead, broken up by ICC. Not the best send in that time on the corner opportunity but Holmes gets it back sends it across the middle Ooh, nicely done that time by Alex Stevens if she doesn't break that one up probably an easy scoring opportunity there for the Lady Bulldogs as the ball is going to go out of bounds and it will go goal kick here for ICC three and a half minutes ago here until halftime remind everybody stay tuned for the Little Caesars halftime report we'll go over some sonic scoring in the first half and touch on a few stats As ICC with it now, but Holmes takes it away. Holmes sends, or excuse me, ICC sends it back over the top. And there's Morgan Dennis to step in front of that one. Morgan just trying to dribble back and allow things to reset here. Goes between the legs of the defender, now sends it ahead. Don't know how that wasn't a handball that time, but the referee said let him play. That's one thing that we kind of talked about with Coach Strother in the last match is one of those where referees are kind of more of a judgment call on handball. Was it incidental? Was it a purpose? If they feel it's incidental, then they uh, don't call it. Is there's another shot on goal and save for Mary-Kate Grayson. It's one of those situations where if it's a handball, it's a handball. Call it. 50-50 ball off the head of a Holmes player. I've never played soccer, but I can't imagine that feels good. So Holmes with it now, and that one's going to be cleared out nicely that time. And out of bounds, and it will stay with the Lady Bulldogs. Quickly tossing it in. Battling pass, and they're going to try to just poke it forward in another save. Unofficially the ninth save of the contest here for Mary-Kate Grayson. 145 and counting left here until the intermission. And Holmes comes up applying a little bit extra pressure. And now Meadows with it. Meadows trying to get up the pitch in a hurry here. Sends it ahead. Oh, just a, could not quite sneak it through to Fran, who was streaking on the backside. Would have had a good opportunity there. Sends it across the middle. Broken up yet again by Holmes. Just seems like Holmes is just a half a step quicker than Lady Indian so far here in the first half. Now they send it up the pitch. Steven steps in front of that one. And there's Jagger sending it ahead. One minute, five seconds to go until halftime. Sends it ahead, and Holmes sees the ball picked up by ICC, and they try to squeeze it forward, and then Holmes steps in front of that one. Wild finish here and inside a minute to play. Swings it ahead, and Mary Craig Grayson's smart decision to come up and challenge that one early. And I don't know if the Holmes player that time was not off sides in that situation. There's a battle for it. Meadows wins it. Good hustle that time by Meadows to stick with it and find a way to win that battle on the loose ball. Inside 30 seconds to play. Meadows gets pushed. And they're going to move the ball back. And ICC is going to have to hurry. 15 seconds now. Meadows 
looking at it with 10 seconds, sends it. Sends it over the middle, broken up by Holmes, and Wilson tries to get a foot on it. And it's going to be Younger with it now. Younger just could not get the ball to land low enough for her to get a solid kick on it, and that will do it. We'll have a 10-minute halftime intermission, and we'll come back with the second half of play. Let's take a look at some scoring here in the first half at the 35.07 mark with 35 minutes and 7 seconds left in the first half. It was Desalte. I'm saying that wrong, so I apologize with the goal, made it 1-0, and then Walsh just happened to be in the right spot at the right time as they tried to clear the ball out. Uh, it deflected off her chest and into the back of the net, 2-0, and that's where we stand here at halftime. We're going to take a break here, a word from some of our sponsors, and be back with more right here on LetsGoICCTV.com as we hear from the ICC All-American Band at the break for the Little Caesars Halftime Show, ICC trailing number 16 team in the country, 2-0. Got a great deal on pizza. You went to Little Caesars and got an extra most bestest with the most cheese and pepperoni for just six bucks. I got a terrible deal on pizza. Give me that. Get the most cheese and most pepperoni at the nation's best price. Little Caesars, six dollar extra most bestest. Pizza, pizza.
featured Gloria Estefan's 1985 hit tune, Conda. Also featured on trumpet are Lydia Short of Pontotoc, Brandon York of Amory, Danielle Creighton from Tupelo, Jenna Harris, Mantachi, Armando Quinones from Pontotoc, Daniel Torres from Tupelo, Holly Jones from Pontotoc, and Micah Collins from South Pontotoc. change the history of pizza forever. A pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni. This is my dream and I can do it. Because my mom and dad said I can accomplish anything. And I will do great things in life. Sorry kid, it's been done. But my dream- Introducing Little Caesar's Extra Most Bestest Pizza. A large pizza with the most cheese and the most pepperoni for just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. From the moment they were young, you cheered them on. You defended them and you encouraged them. Why? Because as a child's parent, you are their greatest influence. You always wanted them to be better, accomplish more, and make a difference. We want that too. At Itawamba Community College, we give them the opportunity to live a life above the bar. Ever since you got that license, you haven't, you haven't stopped, stopped moving forward. forward. Now, now that you're older and on the move, you, you need, need a safer, safer place to keep your money. money. We, we get, get it. A student checking account frees you up with things, things like mobile check deposit to take, to take care, care of that, that check from grandma without, without having, having to stop at a bank. bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And stop worrying about ATM fees. We'll pay you back for those. Worry about your future, not your money. And, and know, know that, that we'll, we'll stick, stick with, with you, wherever you go. Renaissance, Renaissance Bank, Bank. Understanding, understanding you. Member FDIC. FDIC. Need money now? Get a choice pawn load on things you already own, like guns, boats, campers, trailers, recreational vehicles, and just about everything else. Get a loan from Choice Pawn in Fulton and Tupelo. Get cash today. ChoicePawn.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're just moments away from starting the second half of play here in Fulton. ICC trailing the number 16 team in the country, Holmes, 2 to nothing here at halftime. 
for ICC, they're wearing the blue kits, which have the white shorts, blue socks. They'll be moving, I believe, left to right on your screen. For Holmes, they're in the maroon tops, black shorts, trimmed in white, maroon socks. They'll be moving right to left on your television or your computer or your phone. Whatever you're watching on is let's go ICCTV.com. We do want to remind you that we'll be back in action on Friday, sophomore day, here in Fulton. So you'll be able to tune in for those matches. The Lady Indians will face Southwest Tennessee at 1. The Indians will take on Andrew College right around 3 o'clock as ICC will have it here with the First American National Bank opening kickoff for the second half. Try to bring you the players on the pitch here for ICC. It's part of your Coca-Cola Starting lineup here to start the second half. As ICC with it. This is Brooke Younger with it now. more players and then I can give you that line up there for the Indians here in the second half. This is Sullivan with it now trying to go out wide. This is Covington. Covington on the wing pokes it ahead to Barnett. Barnett looking to challenge inside. The ball is going to be out of bounds. And are they going to say it's going to be a corner? Nope. Goal, off, goal kick here for Holmes. All right. We do have our starting 11 here being presented to you by Coca-Cola. And here they are. Number five, Maya Richardson. Number nine, Morgan Dennis. Number 10, Allie Barnett. Number 11, Audrey Wilson. Number 13, Brooke Younger. Number 16, Caroline Jaggers. 17, Deanna Christie. Number 20, Brittany Sullivan. Number 21, Hannah Covington. Number 24, Savannah Courtright. And in net here in the second half is Haley McGill. That is your Coca-Cola starting lineup for ICC here to start the second half. Holmes with it now. Swinging it out wide on the wing. Trying to feed it inside. Challenged nicely that time by Savannah. And the ball is nearly out of bounds. Just lost her footing. Had a little rain earlier in the week, but nothing that would make the pitch in unplayable condition. It's just uh, that time looked like she may have kind of maybe jammed up her ankle on the play. But she seems to be okay, the young lady for Holmes. I believe that's number 21. Cano. So McGill. We'll punt this one down the pitch. And it's taken away that time by the Bulldogs. Covington battling for it on the far side. And the ball is going to go, nope, not out of bounds. Now they're going to send it ahead, and it will be out of bounds, and it will belong to ICC. Nice job that time by Hannah Covington, making it difficult for Holmes on the possession. Eventually just frustration set in, send it down the pitch, and it goes out of bounds. So Maya Richardson will be set to toss this one in for ICC. Looking to go tall. Holmes coming up, putting on a lot of pressure that time, and they're able to get the ball. And now they're going to try to clear it out wide. Morgan Dennis puts a head on it to try to break it up. Now Lady Bulldogs with it, looking to go out on the far wing. Once again, good defense out of Savannah Courtright. The ball is going to be deflected off her foot and out of bounds. 41-20 to go here. As Holmes getting set to toss this one in. They lead 2 to nothing, so they're not going to be in the biggest of hurries to get to the ball on the sideline. Trying to deflect that one in off a header. Nothing there. Ball is being bounced around. And deflected off the foot of a Holmes player. Shot on goal. And McGill with a great save. Good job for Haley McGill that time as that was a blistering shot on net. That was her first save. 
As we said, she was actually up here in the ICC Foundation broadcast booth running the clock the part of the first half. So she was able to rush down at halftime, get loose, and make a great save there to keep it 2-0 in favor of the Lady Bulldogs with 40 minutes and 25 seconds to go here in the contest. ICC trying to fight their way back into this one. We talked about Holmes, 11-0-1 on the season. They're 9-0-1 overall. The new rankings came out today, and Holmes found themselves in the number 16 team in the country. ICC, they'll be the number two seed in the North. They're 9-6, 5-2 in North Division play. East Central, looks like they'll be that number three team, maybe, or is it Northwest? Somewhere between East Central and Northwest. I think it's actually going to be East Central that will be the number three team out of the North. ICC is set to face Gulf Coast in a rematch of last year's opening round playoff. It was at Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast is able to come away with the win in that match. So ICC looking to get a little revenge this season as they'll host their first ever playoff game here at ICC. Of course, they're tied right now with most wins in a season at nine, hoping to find a way to maybe rally in this one as that's going to be a foul on ICC. Oh, wow. Morgan Dennis kind of got undercut that time, but it was whistled on Dennis instead of Holmes. Dennis and the referee trying to explain himself to Morgan Dennis. And that may be when you miss the call, when you have to justify your call to the player. As Wilson breaks that one up, tries to send it across the middle, broken up nicely that time by the Lady Bulldogs. Now here comes Holmes on the attack. Tries to cross. It's there, and a nice save. Nicely done by, H by Haley McGill. Had to stretch out and then make that slap to make the save across the way. Her second save on a beautiful cross that time out of the Bulldogs. So it'll be a corner kick co opportunity coming up here for Holmes. Did get a text message from Steve Diffie, who is checking in. Corner opportunity on its way. And cleared out nicely that time by ICC. And the kick is up and too tall. One of those with the orange net, and you kind of have to wait and see where it ends up. It actually like it got in the net that time, but just too tall. And ICC dodges a major bullet there. So McGill sends that one down the pitch. Holmes controls. Over the middle, that's going to be Brittany Sullivan taking it away. And that time, Wilson trying to reverse the pitch and just bounces it off the backside of Sullivan. And there's McGill coming up and scooping that one up. Shot was not on goal. And Haley's going to send that one to midfield. Bouncing it around. Really no one's got control of it just yet, and looks like Holmes will control. Holmes, a little confusion on who was going to get the ball that time, but not enough pressure from ICC to take that one away. Going to be deflected off the foot of Younger. So that's going to be Morgan Dennis stepping in front of that one that time. Deflects it away and now sends it out wide, just trying to clear it out of traffic, and it's going to go out of bounds. Anna Covington couldn't quite get to it in time, and so it'll be a toss in coming up here for Holmes. 36-13 remaining in regulation. ICC trailing 2-0 to the number 16 team in the country, the Holmes Lady Bulldogs. Holmes has yet to lose a match this season. They did tie one. They're 11 0 and 1 on the year. They will be hosting the state soccer tournament next weekend down at Freedom Ridge Park. I'm sure you can visit Holmes Athletics 
Bluefield.com for more information on that. As it's out of bounds and it should be a corner kick, and yes, it will be a corner opportunity here for the Bulldogs. Of course, Steve Diffie always doing a great job out there, the sports information director, and basically do it all out there at Holmes. He'll be able to have more information on that. Of course, we'll update you on the ICC. Both the men and women teams have punched their tickets to postseason play. Speaking of the Indians, you can catch their match coming up next here on letsgoiccTV.com after a brief break. And there is a whistle. I believe that's going to be a foul. Yes, it is on Holmes. But yes, after a brief break, you can tune back in and watch ICC and Holmes in the men's action. That one should be right around that 3 o'clock hour. That one sent down the pitch and a scrum for it and Holmes takes it away. Now they're going to go out wide on the wing. Opportunity coming up here for the Lady Bulldogs. Tries to poke it in for a header. Sent out that time and just could not take advantage. But Holmes will keep possession. Sends it ahead. Number 10 tries to fire and an easy scoop and save that time for McGill. Well, Holmes has controlled the field position and time of possession so far here in the second half. Linda Sullivan checking in on Twitter, watching here on Let's Go ICC TV.com. And we do want to say a special hello to all those watching in support of the Lady Bulldogs and the Bulldogs coming later this afternoon. And the ball is just right there in the corner, and it's going to go out of bounds. It should be a toss in here for Holmes. 33 45 and counting here in the second half. 2 0 is the score in favor of Holmes. Actually, going to call a foul, so this, uh, are they going to say it's a corner opportunity? Sends it. And it's inside, broken up nicely that time by a trio of Lady Indians. And Holmes, though, as I said, just been in the right spot at the right time all day today. But there's Allie Barnett to take it away. Great job by Allie. And now here comes ICC trying to reverse field position. And Sullivan just couldn't quite find the handle on that one. And Holmes will reset. Cleared out by ICC. Holmes will maintain possession since it... Out wide down the sideline on the far side of the pitch. Let it go up the pitch, and it's broken up by ICC. Still loose in Holmes. I guess they're going to call a handball in that situation. One of the few handballs we've seen called all season long. Because they call that one that time. So Holmes will come in to kick this one. Sends it. And too tall as it goes over the top of the net. And out of bounds. 32-24 to play here in the second half. ICC trailing number 16, Holmes, 2-0. Lady Indians just trying to find a way to finish strong. They will finish up the regular season on Friday as they host Southwest Tennessee for Sophomore Appreciation Day. That'll be at 1 o'clock. And Holmes has it now, sends it back across the middle. Scramble for it, and that's going to be a tripping call on ICC. The young lady from home sold that one pretty well. Giving her enough time to maybe check herself out there. So hopefully she is okay. That is Kendall Walsh who is going to try to walk this one off. But she will get a substitution into the match here. That is going to be number 25. That's going to be Courtney Turner checking into the contest here for the Lady Bulldogs. That substitution being brought to you by the ICC Wesley Foundation. They beat Thursday nights at 7, located at an angle just across the street from us here at the ICC Soccer Complex. Short kick, easy save that time by Haley McGill. McGill now with four saves unofficially in the contest. That Sonic stat being brought to you by the Sonic here in Fulton. Right now their special is a cheeseburger and onion rings for $2.99 drink. Not included in that. 
Or if you're looking for a job, ICC students, the Sonic in Fulton is hiring. Substitution into the match here for ICC is going to be number 12. That's Gracie Burleson. Number 6, that's going to be Emma Godden. And number 18, Cynthia Bethencourt. All checking into the contest here for ICC. With 30-25 to play here, 2-0 is your score in favor of Holmes. Addison Meadows also checking in to the match as well. Those substitutions being brought to you by Renaissance Bank. RenaissanceBank.com, member FDIC. Renaissance Bank, a proud sponsor of not only ICC Athletics, but Itawamba Community College. They do a lot for the college and help promote the educational aspect as well as the athletic aspect of ICC. Remind you of what's coming up at ICC. Being brought to you by Food Giant. We've got homecoming coming your way in two weeks. ICC will host homes. If you're a fan of that triple option offense, well, you want to come watch the Holmes Bulldogs as they bring a fun style of offense to the football field. Of course, ICC trying to keep their playoff hopes alive as this one poked ahead but cleared out nicely that time by Morgan McKinnon, who is in net here in the second half. Of course, for the Indians to keep those playoff hopes alive, they first got to win Saturday at Mississippi Delta. One second as we have lost our video feed. As we'll keep it here and just tell you what. Now it's back. As the pitcher is back. I just want to clear this one back and McGill We'll camp back and wait on this one. Sends it ahead, though. Holmes steps in front of it. Opportunity for Holmes, and McGill makes the save. Great job by McGill, and that one's just going to coast down the line, and it's not going to be out of bounds, so it'll be a toss in. Give McGill her fifth save of the contest. Great effort that time. Holmes nearly came away with a easy goal that time, as this is going to be number 23, Stewart, checking back into the contest. Here for the Lady Bulldogs, checking out will be Burrell. So a toss in here for the Lady Bulldogs on the far side of the pitch. And it's going to be kicked around and cleared out. Foot race down the side and Holmes is going to get to it. Now they're going to try to swing it back up top and reset the offense. Inside they go with it. Jaggers puts a foot in that one up the pitch and clears it out. Holmes gets it and stays on the attack. Nearly taken away by the Indians. Now, shot is up and blocked up nicely. Sixth save of the half here for Haley McGill. McGill getting tested here early. Nine saves in the first half, unofficially by Mary Kate Grayson. McGill with six. ICC with a rare trip on their side of the pitch. Taken away and cleared out nicely that time by Holmes. Now ICC with the ball trying to go to work offensively. Sends it ahead. Trying to find it to Deanna Christie. Now Allie Barnett with it on the wing. Barnett tries to send it across the middle. Christie with it. Had it broke up and Holmes once again just right spot at the right time. Every time ICC gets something going positively Holmes just finds a way for her answer. Meadows with it now. Trying to get it outside on the wing. Bethancourt asking for it. Going to switch spots now. Meadows trying to go, sends it inside, and no, just off the foot of Deanna Christie. Good idea, just could not quite get the angle on it. Tough angle on the shot that time, out of bounds, back to Holmes. So ICC on the attack, just could not find a way to stick it home. They trail 2-0 here, 26, seconds and 15, or 26 minutes and 15 seconds to play in this one. ICC with it now. Christie reversing the pitch. This is going to be Bertelson with it now. Bertelson dribbles back towards the middle, trying to work defensively. Broken up nicely that time by the Lady Bulldogs. Godden with it. Sends it ahead. Finds Deanna Christie. Whoa! That's got to be a foul, and it is. As Allie Burnett was pretty much just shoved. 
trying to get after the ball that time. Holmes not helping out on the ball that time. They do lead this contest 2 0. Part of the game, part of the uh, gamesmanship, I guess you can say, where, hey, if ICC is not going to be in a hurry to get the ball, we're going to let the clock continue to roll here. This is going to be Christie on the free kick. Holmes setting up the wall. Deanna surveying what they're going to try to give her. Sends it ahead. And it was blocked up that time. Now here comes Godden. And no, oh, Godden. Rifles went through there, but a nice save that time by McKinnon. So ICC with one of their best opportunities on the afternoon just could not get that one to fall. They had about three shots. Yes, they did. Three saves in the first half. That was the first save of the second half for Holmes. Holmes with it now. Looking to go on the attack on the offensive end. This is number 20 out wide on the wing. Now sends it ahead. Oh, nice little poke behind on the pass and the goal. Beautiful pass that time. Just one of those with back heel set up beautifully that time. McGill didn't quite have enough time to react to it. 3-0 now is the score in favor of Holmes. Did not see who scored that one. Or did not think to write down the number, I should say. So 3-0. 24-36 to go here. ICC has found themselves in a pretty significant hole now to the number 16 team in the country, Holmes Lady Bulldogs. Out of bounds and it will belong to Holmes. 24 minutes, 18 seconds left in this one. ICC has fought hard. Holmes proving why we're one of the top 20 teams in the country so far leading 3-0. Foul was actually caught on ICC. Holmes will send this one down the pitch. Kicked around, kicked around, and it's going to go... Nope, not go out of bounds. Good hustle by Holmes to keep that one alive. Good effort that time by Sullivan. But it's going to be a corner kick coming up here for Holmes. You see the Indians getting loose there in the background. Remind you that game's coming your way next here after a brief break. Oh, let's go ICCTV.com. We'll stop the stream and then come back with that one in the second half. Corner opportunity on its way. Headed out of bounds that time by Holmes. Coming home 23 minutes to play. ICC trailing 3-0. Here to the Lady Bulldogs. McGill steps into this one, sends it down the pitch. Holmes, though, just once again, just in the right spot at the right time. Seems to be every time for Holmes. ICC scrambling for it. Holmes putting on a lot of pressure. And this is going to be number 14, Meadows, sprinting up the pitch. Now leaves it out wide. This is Christie. Deanna Christie with it now. Sends it ahead to Allie Barnett. Just too far. A step too far from Allie, but great hustle that time by Barnett to try to keep it alive. Boy, I tell you what, good opportunity there for ICC. The thing that kind of checked up Allie that time, she didn't want to be called for offside. Good job by Allie to make sure they at least had the opportunity to score and not the offside penalty to take away that chance. Inside they go. Christie couldn't quite get a solid foot on that one. Sends it back, Emma Godden now with it. It's going to bounce off her knee, and Holmes will control. Up the pitch they go with it. It's going to be a foot race. Holmes with it now. Opportunity here on the other end. Fires from distance, and it's good. Just too tall for Haley McGill, and it's now 4-0 in favor of Holmes. And you can tell that was just one of those opportunities that just worked out for the great opportunity that time for Holmes. They were able to get that one to go home. And take a 4 nil advantage now. Substitutions into the match here for ICC. Francesca Yenenos. It looks like uh, number 3, Mallory Scott. And number 15, Hope Simmons. Into the contest here for ICC. 4 nil your score. 22 minutes to play in regulation here. You got to tip your hat to Holmes. A lot of times when teams come out and they already have that 
number one spot locked in the playoffs. They come out a little flat, but you can tell they're still playing with a lot of pride. They like the fact that they have not lost a match all season long. 11-0-1, trying to make sure they keep that strong this afternoon. A little rare miscue there by the Lady Bulldogs, but they're able to hustle it back and get it back. ICC, though. Meadows, who has played well this afternoon, able to find it now, sends it ahead to Hope Simmons. Simmons sends it out wide to Bethancourt. Now here come the Lady Indians. Opportunity here. Numbers for ICC. Bethancourt challenging, dribbling inside. Leaves it over the middle. There's going to be Mallory Scott. Oh, just too tall. Opportunity there for ICC. The ball just took a funny hop up on Mallory Scott as it got to her that time and just could not quite complete the play. Multiple subs coming in here for Holmes. That's going to be number 10, Burrell. Number 13, Sims. Number 16 is Goza. And they sent in one more, but I did not see who that was. Those substitutions being brought to you by Food Giant. Visit foodgiant.com. You can find each weekly special, coupons, recipes, and much, much more. That's Food Giant, location serving you through all throughout Northeast Mississippi. They've got one here in Fulton, also Aberdeen Amory. Emma Gotten comes up and takes that one away. Tell you what, if you go to the one in Aberdeen, and I think maybe, yeah, Amory as well, for sure Amory. Uh, they got, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, Reggie Kelly Salsa, a former NFL player, good friend of mine, Reggie Kelly, is that shot on goal saved that time by McGill. But yeah, Reggie has some various food products. He has a really good apple-based salsa, Kaivan Salsa. That's for sure there in Amory, because that's where I go to get mine. That's how good it is. I'll drive a, a couple of towns over to go get that. Of course, Reggie, a great guy, good friend of mine, used to play for the Bengals. Spent some time in Atlanta, former Mississippi State Bulldog. Now food connoisseur. So that ball goes out of bounds. 19-20 to play here. 4 nil is your score in favor of Holmes. So Steve Diffie coming in. It was number 23, Stewart, with the third goal. And Diffie, I've been saying that young lady's name wrong all day today. Does Latte had the fourth goal? That's actually her second goal of the match. 4 0 is your score. 18 45 and counting before this one is final. There's a scramble for it and a foul. That's going to be called on ICC. Mallory Scott got up, was not too happy with the call and wisely decided to walk away. Don't want to pick up any cards this deep in the season, especially heading into the playoffs. ICC will host their first ever home playoff match. That'll be Tuesday. I believe it's scheduled for two o'clock. And they'll be facing Gulf Coast, the team that eliminated them from the playoff last year. So ICC trying to find a little redemption next week in the opening round of the playoffs. That match will be available here on letsgoiccTV.com. Pending the outcome of today's match with the Indians have a chance to earn a co-championship with a win this afternoon. Pending uh, the rest of the outcome in the in the state, I believe if the tiebreaker breaks down right the way I'm thinking, ICC could end up the number three seed and have to go to Pearl River for the opening round of the playoffs, and that is the case. I know Pearl River broadcast their match earlier in the year. We'll hopefully be able to uh, see that match broadcast as well. And there's a shot on goal save that time by McGill, unofficially her eighth save of the contest. Those unofficial stats always being brought to you by Sonic here in Fulton. They also have locations there in Tupelo. That ball out of bounds. I'm going to try to toss it in in a hurry here. And it's going to go out of bounds. And I believe it's going to stay with. Nope, it's going to go to Holmes. Out of bounds with 16.55 remaining here in the contest. See Dr. Jay Allen, the ICC president, 
down there in his golf cart coming out to support the Lady Indians this afternoon. Crowd, pretty good little crowd. As I said, kind of a breezy day. I don't want to call it a chilly day. For some, it's chilly. If you got a little extra padding for guys like me, it's a rather comfortable afternoon. As that ball deflected off the Indians out of bounds, it'll be a goal kick here for the Bulldogs. Well, the good thing for ICC, or the Lady Indians, as I said, they trail this match 4-0. This match does not have any effect on where they finish in the playoffs. That's going to be a foul on the push in the back. So ICC will remain the number two seed, <coughs> excuse me, number two seed out of the north. As Holmes with it, taken away by Richardson. Now here come the Indians. Richardson pushes it forward and just could not quite get anybody to go with or find a strong foot on it to be able to make that dangerous. comes Holmes on the attack. They tried that little back heel move again. Nicely done that time by McGill. Saving that one. Kept it from going out of bounds. They tried that back heel assist. ICC anticipating it that time. Took it away. Sending it down the pitch. Fran takes it. Gets past the defender. Now sends it ahead. Trying to find Mallory Scott. She was going with Scott. Then Scott reversed her position on the pitch. And now the loose ball is going to be controlled by Holmes. Simmons breaks that one up nicely. Emma Godden with it now. Tries to send it up the pitch, and Holmes is there. Godden, though, touches it. Good hustle that time by Emma to get to it and could not quite keep possession. Substitution coming in for ICC. See number four, that's going to be Ferris Bradley. Number two, Alex Stevens. And number nine, that is going to be Morgan Dennis all checking into the contest here for ICC. Those substitutions being brought to you by Joey Cox, your Itawamba County Farm Bureau agent. Joey Cox, for all your insurance needs, stop by and see Joey there on South Adams Street. Of course, Joey and the rest of the 1977 ICC football team will be part of the homecoming festivities as they'll honor that uh, former state championship football team on homecoming, have a ring presentation as that ball just bouncing around, pinballing off everybody's head, and now ICC controls. Out wide, they go to Bethancourt. Bethancourt trying to chase it down. Man, Holmes is just so quick defensively, able to transition and take away a good opportunity there. Yeyeo's had it, lost it, and Holmes takes it away. They set it back out wide. Stevens is going to send it back to Godden. Emma sends it ahead. That's going to be off the foot of Bradley, and Holmes takes it away. Foul on Holmes. And Holmes player just kicked that one away from the ICC player. The good job by the referee not to pull a card out in that situation. Just saying, hey, chill out. Let's don't do that anymore. 4 nil is your score. Emma Godden, we've seen her score from this far out in that Heinz match. She's got a very strong, accurate, and powerful leg. Sends it. And just a little short that time. Easy save. Second save of the match for McKinnon. Of course, those stats, as we said, always unofficial. As Simmons climbs the ladder, puts a head on that one. But Holmes, two players around the ball. It seems that like at all times is able to come away with possession. Sends it ahead. This is going to be Godden who takes it away. Godden out wide to Bethancourt. Bethancourt tries to send it ahead. To Meadows, Holmes steps in front of it. Now here come the Lady Bulldogs on the attack. Holmes allowing some of their players to catch up with them. Now they try to swing it inside. 
And great job by Alex Stevens to break it up. Now, kick is too tall and out of bounds. 11.43 and counting here in the second half. Holmes with a 4 nil advantage over the Lady Indians. You hear the breeze blowing here in Fulton this afternoon. It's a beautiful day for soccer. Up the pitch they go. This is Mallory with it now, tries to squeeze it ahead, and good job, man. They do it just a great job communicating as that time Goza came out and broke that one up. It'll be a toss in here for ICC. So ICC with it, Bethancourt trying to chase that one down, Holmes. Not giving the Lady Indians anything easy at all this entire match. Now here they come trying to get on the attack. This is going to be Donahue with it. Up they go. Godden is going to easily leave this one back to McGill. McGill sends it ahead and it's going to go out of bounds back to Holmes. As we said, the guys game coming up next here on Let's Go ICCTV.com. We'll have a brief break in the action. We'll stop the live stream and come back with that second half. I want to say a special thank you to Dave Edwards out in LA. Had a couple of issues at the beginning of the uh, broadcast. He was able to come in and get everything squared away for today's match. So Dave doing a great job out there for us as always. Here comes ICC opportunity but nicely done by Goza stepping in front of that one. And Holmes takes it away. Now they're going to clear this one out of bounds. Bradley set to toss this one in. We talked about the 1977 ICC football team being honored. Well, Ferris Bradley was selected as the 2017 homecoming queen. She will be part of the halftime festivities. That which brings up an interesting situation for the uh, Lady Indians club as... They will be without Ferris, depending on the time they get uh, on their draw on what time they'll play. Ferris, uh, part of the homecoming court as the homecoming queen. Also, Hannah Covington was selected to the freshman court as well. So a pair of Lady Indians will represent ICC on this year's homecoming court. Across the middle they go. Dangerous. Oh, quick decision, decision that time by McGill. And time is taken here by the referee. Not necessarily sure what he called there. Good job by Hetty McGill coming up and making that quick decision. And she was knocked to the turf and having to adjust her knee brace. So you see a clump of grass that got caught up in it. That is Savannah Courtright helping out her keeper. And I don't know that they're going to be able to get it adjusted. And it's going to be loose, and Haley says, ah, let's just play. I like it. Haley tough as nails in this situation. And she's going to let Emma come up and put a foot on this one for her. As Godden sends that one ahead to Bradley. Bradley with it over across the middle now. This is going to be Meadows. Meadows sends it ahead. This is Mallory Scott, foot race down the sideline. Trying to get past the defender for Holmes. Just a battle for it. Scott has it, and it's kicked out of bounds. It'll be a toss-in on the near sideline for the Lady Indians. 7.45 and counting here. ICC with the ball. Holmes with a 4-0 lead. We do appreciate everyone tuning in in support of the Lady Bulldogs this afternoon. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast and invite you to stay tuned for the men's match. Coming up, that should be maybe even a little bit before that uh, 1 o'clock hour or excuse me, say 3 o'clock hour. So it'll be Holmes to toss this one in. Coming up on seven minutes to play. Can't really <laughs> find anyone to throw it into. Morgan Dennis steps in front of that one. There's a battle for it. 
And somehow Morgan Dennis finds a way to win that battle. Great job by Morgan Dennis. Now here comes ICC. This is Meadows on the attack. Survey and see what she has. Up the front they go. This is Mallory Scott. Scott rushing. No, can't get to it. That one just could not quite get the proper angle on that touch to Scott. And it goes a little wide. And Mallory just couldn't get to it. Good, smart decision that time by McKinnon to come up and make a play on the ball versus waiting on it to come to her. ICC with it now to the 50-50 ball. Morgan Dennis won that one, sends it out wide. This is Bethancourt. Bethancourt up ahead. Yeyanos with it, trying to go to work. And lost it, and it's going to be sent out of bounds by the Lady Bulldogs. Future ICC soccer player there on the sideline, getting that one back into the Lady Indians. Bethancourt tosses it in. This is Fran with it. Sends it inside. Just could not quite get a strong enough foot on it to make it dangerous. Easy save that time for McKinnon. I've got that unofficially her third save on the afternoon. Foul on ICC. So this will be a free kick from midfield. Sends it down. McGill is just going to come camp underneath that one and scoop it up without a challenge. She'll put a foot into this one, send it down the pitch. Mallory Scott had it, ball just a little too hard off her foot, and Holmes will control. Now loose ball, this is going to be Mallory Scott stepping in front of it. Scott's going to leave it out wide, this is Bethancourt. Bethancourt tries to send it ahead, stepped in front of it that time by the Lady Bulldogs. Loose ball, players falling all around the turf. Still loose, and Mallory Scott's going to come up and win that battle. Leaves it back. I believe this is Morgan Dennis with it, and it is. Morgan steps into it, fires it wide left. Out of bounds, it'll be a goal kick coming up here for the Lady Bulldogs. 4 0 is your score, coming up on four and a half to play until this one is final. As we said, we do invite you to stay tuned for the men's match coming your way next here on Let's Go ICCTV.com after a brief break away from our broadcast. Ball goes out wide, sent out of bounds, and it'll be a toss in here for ICC. As we said, programming note no Thursday night football this week for the Indians. They'll be on the road Saturday at Mississippi Delta, the homecoming in Morville. We do advise you if you do plan on making that trip to uh, Moorhead, I think I just said Morville, but it's actually Moorhead. Uh, just a heads up um, Ole Miss is hosting LSU. There's a lot of road construction uh, going on in Oxford, so that could be a little. Um, little delay in your traffic there. Uh, if you let to go down 45 across 82 to Grenada, well, it's going to be homecoming and startful. Uh, so that could be a delay in traffic there as well. And guess what? It's homecoming at Mississippi Valley as well. So uh, we do suggest adding maybe an extra 30 minutes to your travel plans for those that are trying to make their way out to Mississippi Delta. Of course, if you can't make that, it'll be available here on letsgoicctv.com as well as FM 95 Sports starting at 210 with the Choice Pond pregame show. That ball out of bounds, and I believe it would be a goal kick coming up here as it was ricocheted off the ICC defender. Our next ICC soccer broadcast will be on Friday, part of the sophomore festivities as the Lady Indians will host Southwest Tennessee. That match scheduled to begin at 1 o'clock. The men will host Andrew College, a pair of non-division matchups to wrap up the regular season. And as always, a special day when we get to honor all the sophomore members of our athletics and soccer teams this year. As we talked about the Lady Indians doing something special this year. They have tied the mark for most wins in a single season at nine. And with a playoff win, or a win on Friday, I should say, have a chance to break that and set a new record on sophomore day. It'll be an extra special day there for the Lady Indians if they can do so, as that's going to be Higuinos with it now, looking to go to work, sends it out now to Mallory Scott. Scott had it. Bradley. Had it deflected off the backside of the Holmes defender. Ball is loose, and of course, Holmes comes away with it. No, there's ICC stealing it away. I say, of course, Holmes comes away with it because Holmes has just been at the right spot at the right time all afternoon long. And I'm just going to put it to you this way, ladies and gentlemen. That's the reason why they're 11-0 and and 1 and the number 16 team in the country. So it'll be a goal kick coming up here for Holmes. Inside two minutes left before this one is final. 
for Neal. Holmes with the lead. The ball goes out of bounds into the forest. And ICC player will chase that one down and get it back in. Holmes will have the toss in. Rafael Henry up top running the camera for Let's Go ICCTV.com. You've got Lee Adams on the sideline. Also, I saw earlier Maggie Caldwell as well on the sideline taking photos for ICC Images. Dot com. Remind you, you can order photos from this match and other matches and all sorts of events here at ICC. You can now get the digital downloads for $1. So you can download it and it's yours. $1 for that digital download. Offside is the call on Holmes. Now with one minute to play in the contest. One minute to play. ICC trailing for Neil. So this will be wrapped in maroon and white this afternoon. A great effort by ICC. As they said, they had opportunities early. Just could not cash in on them and credit the Holmes Lady Bulldogs as they have just made everything the Lady Indians have had opportunities at. They've made the Lady Indians earn them this afternoon. Up the pitch they go, though. ICC not going quietly into the night, trying to find a way to see if they can get through and put a goal on this match before it's all said and done. Scramble for it at midfield. That's going to be a foul. Whistle on Morgan Dennis. Inside 30 seconds to play now. This one will be final. We remind you, we'll take a break and come back with the men's action. We'll try to give you an estimated time on when the men's game will start. It's scheduled for 3 o'clock, so it could be about a 15-minute uh, warm-up in between as this one's sent down the pitch. Five seconds to play. It goes out of bounds, and that's going to do it. Your final here from Fulton, ICC, falls to the number 16 team in the country, home by the final score of 4 to nothing. As I said, we're going to take a break and step away from the broadcast and remind you uh if you can't make it out friday at one you can tune in here for the women's regular season finale against southwest tennessee it'll be sophomore day that'll be at one o'clock on friday here on let's go icctv.com holmes improves to 12 0 and 1 and 10 and 0 and 1 in the north icc falls to 9 and 7 5 and 3 in north play but they will remain the number two seed going into the tournament and next week. So we'll be back in about uh, 15 minutes for the start of the men's match. For Rafael Henry Lee Adams, I'm Adam Gore. See you in a little while as ICC falls to the, to the Lady Bulldogs 4 to nothing here in the first match of the afternoon. Need money now? Get a choice pawn load on things you already own, like guns, boats, campers, trailers, recreational vehicles, and just about everything else. Get a loan from Choice Pawn in Fulton and Tupelo. Get cash today. ChoicePawn.com. Ever since you got that license, you haven't stopped moving forward. Now that you're older and on the move, you need a safer place to keep your money. We get it. A student checking account frees you up with things like mobile check deposit to take care of that check from grandma without having to stop at a bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends and stop worrying about ATM fees. We'll pay you back for those. Worry about your future, not your money. And know that we'll stick with you wherever you go. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC, 